you could change one concept of the Lovey Smith coaching philosophy, what would that be? I think, you know, myself, I'd be more aggressive. Uh, when I say aggressive, I, you know, again, too, he, he's, he's developed the cover, too, to really where it's, uh, you know, it's a part of him. And also, we all know the cover, too. You need the four down linemen to make the plays. You need the pass rush, but the cover, two prevents. It's a break, don't bend. But what happens is with the cover, two, if you break, you know, anytime during the course of that, that uh, drive, you're eating the clock up. For example, if you don't get the takeaway like they did last week, Hell, the opponents held the ball 36 minutes. They had the ball 36 minutes. The Bears had a 23. Why? Because they keep driving on you and driving on you. You keep bending and bending and bending. And you have to come away with a takeaway or a sack. We didn't get that. I would try to be a little more aggressive. And I would try to use my linebackers, especially Erlocker, trying to find a way to make that 240-pound guy or 265 guy, you know, find a way to get to the quarterback. And I think that's what I would try more of. But once you're successful, which he has been successful, but you get in games like they did last week against New Orleans, and they control the football, and you're not getting the takeaways, and you're not getting the sacks, you can put a fork in it. Because after 36 minutes of holding that football, you're not going to do anything. And that's exactly what happened to him. Even though the offense was stunk, but the fact was the offense couldn't get the football. They couldn't get the ball. And so that's what happens with Ben don't break. And that's one thing I would look at if I was them. I'd be more aggressive sometimes during the course of the game. Uh, in this year 17 of the Bears, trying to convert uh, Devin Hester into a quality wide receiver, are you now prepared to uh, wave the white flag? Yeah, I, I waved it three years ago. I, you know, I don't know what they're thinking. I just think the fact that uh, what's going on in the National Football League right now, you're trying to make somebody out of something. You probably could use him as a third wide receiver or, you know, Get him in and out of there. The main thing him bought was what returns, and that's the other thing. Anyway, uh, Ditka played uh, Gentry yeah. back in the '80s. You bring him in, in and out. I mean, you know, come in, line him up in the backfield once Part in a while. Part of your nickel offense. Exactly. You have to have. You got to have. And if they don't do it, it's going to be an injustice. You got to find a wide receiver. They think it's Roy Williams, but I don't know Roy Williams. I you know I've seen him play in the exhibitions. He didn't do anything for me. So what I'm saying is the fact that they've got to have somebody out there that's legit. How would you like to have Calvin Johnson on your team from Detroit? How would you like to have this guy? Oh. Check, you see, the, I mean, you, you look at it and you say to yourself, you don't understand what that means to a team to have somebody at, like that. At the pre-draft, Jerry Angelo's media conference up in Hallis Hall, I said, Jerry, how important is it for this ball club to come out of this draft with a big physical wide receiver and he looked at me cross eyed like I was nuts. <laughs> now what does this team need right now besides a big physical yeah. wide receiver? What the hell am I missing? <laughs> you're not missing anything. You're absolutely correct. I mean you've been around the game long enough and you know just as well as I do. And the fact is you know what they need out there and you can see it. And that well you know how you see it? You watch other teams. You watch other teams. You watch, you know, Houston with that guy they have down there uh, you know, their wide receiver. What's his name? Uh, Houston, wide receiver. Uh, Cal, uh, Cal, uh, Johnson. Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson. You see what he does. Thank you, Dell, very much. Yeah. <laughs> and you see what those guys do. And you, you see all the successful guys, all the successful teams. They have the guy. They have the guy to make them catch. I mean, we got some good players. I'm not saying they're bad players. They're good players. But you need somebody, a game breaker. Somebody, when you walk out, let me ask you something, Chad. You're playing defense now, and you're calling the defense, and you walk out against the Chicago Bears, and you're lining up, you look through the whole offense. Who scares you? Nobody. And the closest one's going to scare you not, is Forte. You are not going to win the World Series using Matt Forte the way you're using him right now because you're going to burn him out by game nine. And if you don't even burn him out, you're not going to win it because it's, it's been proven. It's a fact. you got to put points up. You've got to go out there and you've got to put points up. And if you don't put points up, you're not going to win. I mean, this is something to the National Football League. The National Football League, in two games, they scored over 172 points. The first two games, out of the first two games for, for the whole league. You've got to put points up. If you can't put points up, you know what? Again, you're asking your defense. You're asking to run the football. You're asking to do all that stuff. That's, that's all-time football. That's me. That's, that's you know, and I'm, 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 a, I'm a dinosaur. Put a fork in me. Don't do that. Go what's going on right now. 
Our, uh, our guest has been Amos Alonzo Stagg. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> Doug Fulton, one of the Chicago Bears' all-time greats. A football player who never got his just due because he had the misfortune to play side by side with the guy who wore his for 51. Or fortunate. Dick Piper. Or actually very fortunate. Yeah. Once again, thank you for joining us here on the uh, Daily Topic. Remember, Carmichael's, the place for steaks in Chicago, 1052 West Monroe Street. Try the old rotten potatoes. The phone, the carrot cake is made for you, made for you folks too. We'll catch you next time around. I'm Chet Kopic. So long, everybody. <laughs>